All right, today is overhead press day, but I did some squats to start off with, and I felt pretty good, so I pushed my numbers, so to speak, pushed it beyond my Wendler training max, which is about 275, and I did 275 here, and then went up to 300, and I'll call this a high bar squat because I keep that bar over my deltoids, on my traps, and this is about the lowest I think I've ever done 300 pounds. Back in my bro days, I'd do 315, but who knows how low I was going because the spotters weren't all that honest back then. All they wanted to do was get to their set, so they let you do your sloppy squats and then get on with theirs. And this is uh, the redheaded stepchild of my lifts lately, the overhead press. And uh, I cut it short here. I did about eight reps with 115. I've recalibrated my max down to 135. My left shoulder's a little bit strained. I'm sure these don't help much, but I did like one set of muscle ups. So my left shoulder's been hurting a little bit. Doesn't bug me on the bench. So I'm just going to kind of work back up with the overhead press. And I went into hit mode, high intensity training mode. For those of you younger people that don't know what that is, it's an old training program of one set to failure, which was popular in some of the bodybuilding circles back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And you're just taking one set and kind of going for it after you do a little warm up. And I'm doing it right here with the pull ups. Uh, this is a drop set. I start with a 30 pound kettlebell, do about 10 reps, and then I just eke out about five to six reps of regular pull ups. And a lot of people in gyms don't like doing drop sets because you end up you know, moaning and groaning over some little girly weights like, you know, like I was with the five or six pull-ups. And there's, I'm doing a variation of a push-up with a medicine ball. Here's another little hit idea I stole for today's workout. Four by four, four reps, and then hold for four seconds at the top position. And these will give your delts a, a good work. And I did a few of those. Just go to your, your gas and go right to the next exercise. Not much rest. No rest for the wicked. And I really tried to duplicate that with the camera. I was tr trying not to watch all the videos. I went to the tricep push-up. I said, I'm just going to film this and then just go to the next exercise. That's just a tabletop, more of a stretch than anything. I uh, need to get some more work on my posterior delts. Uh, I should have done some face pulls this workout. These are the assisted one-arm chins. I, I have a towel in one hand, the ring in the other. Someday going to get that one arm chin, and these will help. And it went right from this into some curls, sort of a drop set in itself. And uh, it's a little body English. I say stay strict on the squats and cheat on the curls. Don't trust anybody that tells you to go halfway on squats, but then gives you crap about using some body English on, on curls. And uh, this is my last one. I did some... Uh, ab roller you see i got the 25 pound plate there and i'm i'd like to someday just do one of those full-on whole body ab rollers that'd be pretty crazy i'll catch you later